30, the Bibb County Sheriff's Office says they have a problem with people driving too fast on the interchange, but they say they already have a plan in place to make people slow down. Our morning reporter Wanye Reese joins us live from the interchange to tell us what deputies will be doing. Good morning, Wanye. Well, a good Monday morning to you, Aaron and Kaylin. As you can see, traffic is picking up out here and you see a lot of folks putting the pedal to the metal. That's why the Bibb County Sheriff's Office, they are warning folks to slow down unless you will get a ticket. On the I-16, I-75 interchange. What I see, I do, I definitely do see a lot of speeding, a lot of road work. It's not uncommon to see people flying down the road. It's not too safe for everybody to just go in there like they own the road. Austin Edwards travels a lot on the interchange and says recently he has seen more law enforcement. Well, I definitely think it's a good thing that they are out here, you know, looking after everybody. Captain Brad Wolf with the Bibb County Sheriff's Office says deputies are keeping their eyes on the pavement. It's a huge problem. It's a huge problem speeding on the interchange out there in the construction zone, especially. Wolf say deputies have issued about 33 citations this year in construction zones. When it comes to the interchange, Wolf says deputies face an uphill battle. The traffic guys, have, like I said, come up with some creative ways to, to position themselves and get out there. But then, you know, they find a good way to do it. And then the construction does a lane shift or something, changes up what they've what they've been using. So we have to kind of reevaluate it every now and then to try to find a, a safe way to do it. He says things like barricades on the interchange make it tough to watch for speeders. It's just it's very dangerous. You got to be able to evaluate constantly what you're doing and be prepared for another driver who may not be paying attention. For now, Edwards is taking that advice, keeping safety on his mind. And GDOT, they're asking all drivers to slow down when they're in these construction zones. And Aaron and Caitlin, GDOT says that a lot of their construction workers, when they're working out here, they're behind barricades and some of these crane equipment, so they're not actually on the road. But nonetheless, please slow down if you do see folks out here working. Live in Macon, Wanye Reese, 13 at WMAZ News. Thank you, Anya. That Hardeman exit is really tricky, too, because when you're trying to merge, especially mm -hmm. if you have to get on to 75, you have to get across three lanes of traffic and everybody's speeding. It's just it's Best dangerous. just to slow down. It's just yes. better be safe than sorry. Exactly. Well, if driver safety isn't enough incentive to make you slow down, speeding penalties in work zones in Georgia carry fines that can run as high as $2,000. So that